What up guys, Eric here from Racing Ram Fam. Oh, nice shirt. <laughs> we'll keep that out of the video. In this video, we are having charging issues with my 2004 Dodge Ram SRT10. We've actually been having charging issues for a while. And the issue is, is when you're sitting there at a stoplight or a stop sign for a very long time, or longer than 30 seconds, uh, my battery voltage literally drops off the gauge below 10 volts. But in today's video, we have an underdrive pulley on here. Uh, it's not its fault. I don't think, well, it is its fault. but. This underdrive pulley is designed to work in a stock application. Stock hydraulic fan does not use power. Uh, stock battery relocation, so you don't have 10 feet of power wire running up to your battery terminal. Uh, no dual fuel pumps. Not all these gauges and stuff. It is not designed to work with all this aftermarket stuff that I have on this truck. So what we're going to do in this video to try and fix this charging issue, because again, if I rev it up to 1000, that means it charges back up. Underdrive pulley, literally what it does is spins all the pulleys slower, so you have less turning resistance, making more power, because it literally doesn't have to turn things as fast, so it frees up power with the motor. Great idea. Um, yeah, we'll just make more boost to make more power. It literally probably makes like, <laughs> it doesn't make power, it frees up power. It's like going to a lighter rim and tire in the back, that frees up power, because it's not having to turn that giant heavy rim and tire anymore. You got that nice lightweight tire, it's easier to turn. Yes. In this video, we are gonna go back to the stock size pulley. When I get the underdrive pulley out, you guys will literally see the size difference between this guy and how small the underdrive pulley is. Again, I'm not knocking this underdrive pulley. The issue is I'm not stock. I have tons of electrical things now. I have two gigantic fans, JMB battery relocation kit, gauges, and just two fuel pumps. We got tons of stuff on this truck to keep it running and we need to keep it charged. I daily drive this truck so I really don't like sitting there and holding at 1000 RPMs when I'm sitting there in traffic. It's extremely annoying having to turn like my fog lights off to save battery voltage and turn the radio off and stuff. It's just, it's annoying. Hauling a camper was like 10 times worse. So yeah, we're going to get right into pulling that underdrive pulley off, Take well taking the belt off, taking the underdrive pulley off, installing this guy back on. Alright, let me move my fancy new Chinese plasma cutter out of the way. So we got the underdrive pulley off, as you can see here, and you guys can see the size comparison just next to each other. By the way, it is two, four, six. By the way, it is six half inch bolts. Uh, to take this guy off but again you guys can just see I, think I can fit that inside of there so this what this is actually going to do is this is going to make my alternator spin faster hopefully charging my battery better um, if this doesn't fix it uh, we're going to have to change my battery relocation and move it closer so it doesn't have as much wire going to the actual like uh, power distribution center up here it is not a tip em because it is a 2004 2006 is a tip em this is not uh, yeah, so now we are going to install the stock pulley, put the stock belt back on, and call it good to go. And we'll see what happens. But yeah, this thing is now for sale if anyone wants to pick one up. If you have a stock SRT10 that does not have electric fans, does not have dual electric fuel pumps, does not have a ton of gauges, does not have a ton of lights, hit me up for this underdrive pulley because it will make about three horsepower more. I'll sell it to you for on the cheap, on the low. And these bolts do have a torque spec, guys. These bolts do have a torque spec. What it is, I have no idea because I'm not going to follow it, but it does have a torque spec. <laughs> it's just going to be uh, tight for me. And just like that, we have the stock pulley on and the belt. You can see my giant, one of my giant electric fans. The other one's right there. If you guys were wondering for my delete, there's my little nipple that deletes for the hydraulic fan. And then you just run your uh, braided power steering line down from the pump and uh, straight to the rack and it's good to go but yeah so we're gonna call that a video uh, if this doesn't fix it it should fix most of it but if it doesn't fix all of it uh, we're just gonna drive till the end of the year and then I'll move the battery to a different spot where it uses less cable which is probably the other side of the truck 
from the passenger wheel to the driver's wheel well will probably kill about six feet, not maybe four feet of cable, which will help too. But yeah, guys, we're going to call that a video. Uh, again, if you guys don't know, again, if you guys want to buy this underdrive pulley from me, it comes with uh, two belts. Remember, these belts are like 30 bucks a piece. And that one's like brand new. This one's got probably 10,000 miles on it. So, yeah. Um, if you guys don't know what this truck is, it is a 2004 Dodge Ram SRT10 turbo. Go check out some of my older videos. I have all the videos of building this whole entire turbo kit in my little tiny garage. But I also have surprising news for you guys. Uh, this garage is getting upgraded very soon. So stay tuned for that. That's all I got to say about that is we will no longer be in this garage, the OG garage where we built the 5.9, we're building the 8.3, we built the turbo kit in here. The OG garage is disappearing. So, But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions or if you want to buy this underdrive pulley from me, please DM me on Instagram or Facebook at RacingRamFam. But yeah, guys, we're going to call that video. Uh, it should fix the problem. Uh, we'll find out. Otherwise, again, we're just driving until winter, and then we'll move the battery. So let's we'll deal with the issue until then. But yeah, thanks, guys, for watching again. Click that subscribe button. It's right here. Click it. Click it, or it's right here. Click subscribe. Subscribe. We're doing so good. Follow the build. Follow SRT10. Follow the Twin Turbo build. Please, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Please share the video. Come on, guys. Thank you so much again, and we'll catch you guys later. Peace.